Hello, this is Dirk Tion from Boris Effects, and I'm recording this movie in response to a posting on the uh, Creative Cow forum. Uh, Paul James Chapman posts asking about this particular effect from the BCC8 reel, um, this caustics effect on the dancer, and curious how, how that was done. So I'm going to take a look at that. Um, you see here I have actually that, that very shot, and I have, I'm in Vegas 10, and I have BCC7 installed on this particular machine. I'm going to apply BCC caustics there. That's what it looks like by default. And you see you have this caustics um, where the wave shapes are based on a fractal field. And the color control, you see it's such a color control here, that just means this color chip defines the color of the, um, of the caustics. So we're gonna make a few changes right away. We're gonna change color control to filtered layer. And if I preview this, you see actually already um, kind of an interesting effect. So the wave shape the, itself is still based on just the fractals but the color um, is using the underlying image. And, <coughs> excuse me, but in this effect, we're gonna change the wave source also to be filtered layer. And then to get to the final effect here, there's a few changes I wanna make. Um, projection distance, I'm just gonna actually turn down to zero for this particular effect to get the look I want. This wave smoothing, um, increase this a bit and so now you see it starting to resemble that effect and let me increase brightness so we can see it a little better. So what I found was adjusting um, wave smoothing in relation to wave height and there's one more this uh, wispiness parameter I think. They, they, they have some similar effects, but you know, you get, you kind of can fine tune your effect adjusting those three once you have this basic setup. Um, another kind of neat thing with this effect that's worth showing is this compositing option. So by default, it's, it doesn't composite over the layer, it's applied to it all, um, you know, but it's possible to have it composite over it or use various blend modes so that you can you know, have it more integrated with the um, underlying image if that's if that's the kind of effect you're looking for. Um, and in fact, I think I have an example here, this image where I have it compositing over the, um, the source and I've animated um, a parameter and I end up with this, um, this kind of effect. So I have this, like as he kind of lets out a scream and kind of visualize some, some, some sort of energy or something here. So it does that. And again, it's, um, I think both the color and the shape of the waves in this case are being defined by, by the source image. Um, so anyway, that's a, um, that's a quick look at, at how that effect was done. Um, in the final comp here, in the final ef uh, effect, I added a, a glow filter on top of here. Um, in that case, it was BCC Film Glow, which actually is new to BCC 8. We have an improved glow in BCC 8, um, and I was using that. I actually used that on almost every shot in that effect reel because I was really um, interested in kind of seeing how that, that glow could add, um, add to the effects I was making. So hopefully that, uh, that answers the question.